Good morning, folks. It is 5.50 a.m. Eastern Time. We are still in Montreal. I am still having to come to Tim Hortons to do the news. But at least this time, this morning, I had the foresight to not go inside where all the music is playing. Uh, so hopefully this won't be as distracting of a background, although my wife, who went in to get coffee, may be coming back into the RV at any moment. So uh, there may be that. Let's go ahead and start the screen share. And we're starting with two major weather watches. Uh, we have the typhoon here, which is about pounding the Philippines right now. Um, I didn't do a good job yesterday of reminding everyone that that quake we had in the Philippines yesterday is the one that we have been calling out for a couple of days in the news. Uh, we talked about it on Fly on the Wall this past Saturday. The Philippines, uh, more than just about anywhere else, uh, including Mexico, uh, really uh, has this Earth spot connection between the tropical storms and the quakes. Good morning, Kat. My wife is just coming back in now. She's got this, oh, I'm so sorry to interrupt you face on. It's okay, babe. Everyone understands. Anyway, so this would be our, our number one watch right now. It is going to continue uh, across. Pr it's pretty much going right over Manila, uh, and then it's expected to strengthen again when it gets into the South China Sea and uh, you know, miss Hong Kong by just a few hundred miles west. Anyway, coming back to the Earth wind map, the only other major watches I want to mention today are for the United States and Canada. And uh, you can see, uh, it's tough to see right there, but here's our low pressure system right here. And we also have some northern flow right here as well. Here's our convergence on the leading east edge. And, excuse me, there we go. These are our severe storm watches uh, today and our flood watches. And these do... Uh, you know, I know they usually only show what we have right here to the United States, but the storms will go up into Canada here. Uh, nice swath of it here where we won't have as many thunderstorms. Uh, we're going to watch for a tropical storm development here, um, speaking of Mexico, uh, here in the eastern Pacific. That'll be something we're going to look for. And also, last but not least on the weather, that low that is just up in Canada there on its western side is driving major cold uh, down into the United States. So. Hold on to your hats if you don't feel this yet, especially here on the East Coast. Uh, in Montreal, we still don't feel this cold yet, but it is certainly coming. Uh, luckily, this was a much lighter day on earthquakes. Um, Central America did continue rocking for a little bit, and Oklahoma still, still shaking. But uh, no more six-pointers like we had the last couple of days. Let's quickly move over to space weather. Uh, there's not much to report. The solar flaring has been on a major decline, especially as the big sunspots departed. This little grouping here, this, and looks like we may have one cresting right now, but all in all, we're back to a blank sun. The main, uh, the main thing that we have to talk about is we did take a bit of an interplanetary shock yesterday, but um, it may have been a little more than the coronal mass ejection, and as you can see, it updates uh, pretty dynamically every five minutes there. But what I had commented before was that the CME looked so weak we might not even be able to notice it amidst the telemetry. And we indeed were able to notice it. I don't know if you guys can see that high reading right there. That is what we're calling the interplanetary shockwave from the coronal mass ejection. We also have some higher readings here followed by a speed ramp. And as you guys know, you can't have um, part of the same coronal mass ejection be speedier than the start of it and have it arrive later. It doesn't make sense. So what this is right here, speed dens uh, a density bulge followed by a speed ramp, that's the coronal hole stream. So the CME did impact Earth. It was pretty weak, uh, and that happened right before the coronal hole stream, which is kicking in right now quickly go back over to spaceweather.com. When you guys are doing this yourselves, by the way, spaceweather.com is a terrific resource. Going with the KP index. Yeah, at one point there was a borderline instability, but um, didn't even really hit KP4. Let's take a look at the last 24 hours of our star here to close. No eruptions. Uh, the coronal hole that we are taking, remember this uh, one you see down south is a U shape and this was facing Earth three days ago. I imagine that's the coronal stream we're taking right now. We should expect maybe to see something from this. Can't wait to see the rest of that coronal hole. Filaments are still there. Now I'm really starting to watch this one. That's a pretty big filament. 
Uh, we have another one up here. All in all, it was a quiet day on our star and on the planet Earth. The weather watches are probably primary today. Eyes open. No fear. Again, now it's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.